My name is Terry Kennedy, professional skateboarder. The way it is for me now is just do skateboarding. It's truly a blessing. One thing I, I truly love about skating is the fact that you never know where it can take you. You never can stop learning. You never stop progressing on it. And truly, like I'm saying, you never know where, it, where you would end up from. And yeah, that's why I love skateboarding. I mean, it truly saved my life. And it'll save anybody's life coming from a neighborhood that I come from. I can guarantee you that. Anybody life. Because where I come from, which is number gang banging, drug selling, and at the end of the day, if you skateboarding, you away from all that. You're not hanging in them areas. You out skating or you at a skate park. You in a zone. You having fun. You around positivity. What's going on? This is Paul Rodriguez. For me, growing up in LA, skateboarding was like, that's the place if you want to be a skater, that's the place you want to grow up is LA. I definitely think it's kept a lot of kids out of trouble. A lot of kids. You know, Terry especially. A lot of kids who would normally be up to no good, but I definitely got it from my family a lot growing up. Just like, hey man, that's a white boy thing. Like, skateboarding is for white boys. And I was always just like, nah, dude, like, there, there's some Mexicans in there. My name is Theodos Beasley. Um, yeah, when I first started skateboarding, my parents, like, that's like not something they wanted me to do. They thought it was like crazy, I'm gonna get hurt. And like she didn't want to support me, so I'm just like I kept asking, like, could you buy me this and buy me that? So my mom gave me a hundred dollars each month, and then it was like this little kind of like Mexican store across the street that sold non-name brand like shoes. But I just like bought them there real quick within like a week, and I was just like I was like a local. I would keep going buying shoes from me. My name is Remo Pearson, and I'm from South Central LA. Son. You. I just put the board in the trash bag and then I broke off to school and just take it with me. When I came out to school and I, you know, wasn't playing basketball and as soon as I brought that skateboard to school, I it off the bro hoops, that was it. My name is Issy Amoeba. My parents are both from Japan, so for them they're really strict on like academics and for me to go into skateboarding, that's kind of something like new to the family. So. It's still like, even my grandma, like when I go back to Japan, she's like, doesn't really, she kind of approves of it, but not really. Um, yeah, it's definitely been tough. I mean, I've always done good in school, and then I finally made this decision to, I got accepted into Irvine, but I decided not to go. Skateboarding is like one of the things that like, I care so much about that I wouldn't let anything like that get in the way. I'm cool with everybody. So most likely I would say like if like like Mexican, like Native American, like African, uh, what else could you say? Like Puerto Rican, Japanese, Chinese. Long as we skateboarding, like yeah, we're family. Like no like, oh dang, like you're not the same color as me. Like it should never be like that. Anymore. Coming up in South LA being a black kid on a skateboard. That was not fun, dude, I tell you that much. I, I got my black heart taken away, so guys, I'm not black, I guess. All those homies I had, like, didn't want to really talk to me anymore. What the f are you doing? You're black, you don't belong on a skateboard, that's for white people. I, I really don't like stereotypes. And people say certain people can't do things just because of their color. You know? It's like, that's bull. If you want to skate, you're black, go for it, man. Like, power to you. Nowadays, it's like, predominantly Latin and black, you know, like minority culture, so, which is awesome. So once we catch on to something, you know we're gonna take over, you know, so, so, uh, you know, it's just uh, another thing where, where the Latins and the blacks really can showcase their athletic abilities and, you know, we happen to just be good at it. The first kid who actually got me in this game was Hispanic. He couldn't come on my block and I couldn't go where he stayed because Mexicans and African Americans didn't get along in the neighborhood. So I'm glad that I didn't live by that stigma. You know, like I didn't look at him just because he was Hispanic and be like, you know what, I'm not cool with Mexicans. I'm not gonna hang with him. I'm not gonna be, you know, friends with him or whatever. Like I'm saying, I'm glad that I did because I picked up skateboarding through that. And that was dope. And even going to Cherry Park, it was a lot of people. You know, there's Asians up there skating, there's Mexicans, whites, blacks, you know, Puerto Rican, whoever. It was all type of races and different genres. So that was always cool, man. And see everybody from different backgrounds and different cultures just getting along, just having a good time and just doing one thing that truly brings everything to get everybody together, which is 
you know, just skateboard. So it's 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 just tight, man. The bottom line is, I want to inspire the younger generations of all ethnicities to keep skating, follow their dreams, stay true to yourself, and everything will work out. This is Terry Kennedy. Thank you for watching my Skate Doc.